Listen up. We have a new transfer student from Sweden. Her name is Luna Kujoin. N nice to meet you all. I'm Luna Kujoin. I hope we can all be good friends. She's so pretty! Oh my gosh! She's like a doll! So cute! I want her to be my little sister! Excuse me! Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, um, I'm sorry. Japanese, I don't know. But you're speaking Japanese right now! Uh... Hey, she only knows how to introduce herself. The decision to move her was so sudden, she didn't have time to study. So if you need to talk to her, talk to her in Swedish. Yeah, like any of us can do that! Then you should all study so you can communicate with her. I failed Japanese! There's no way I can handle a new language! <laughs> Swedish, huh? Hmm. My name is Kazuki Makihara, and I couldn't help but stare at Luna as my classmates fawned over her. Judging by her name, she must be half Japanese, half Swedish. She's very pretty, so I can understand why my classmates are excited. I just hope the language barrier won't be a big deal. My classmates basically smothered Luna at lunch break, but none of them went near her by the end of the day. It was just as I expected. The reason was simple. They couldn't communicate with her. No matter how pretty she was, there was nothing they could do if they couldn't talk to her. She must be going through a hard time, not being able to talk to any of her classmates. But I'm just a loser introvert. Would she be insulted if I go talk to her? I feel so alone. I don't want to be here. Mm, excuse me. Wait, that's Swedish. You, you can speak Swedish? Yeah, my parents own a trading company. So they've been teaching me different languages ever since I was a kid. Wow. Well, what is your name? What? She's too close. It's Kazuki Makihara. Kazuki, I'm Luna. Please, can you teach me Japanese? Well, sure, but can't your parents teach you? Oh, my father was Japanese, but he died with my mother and my grandparents on my mother's side in an accident during a family trip. Oh! My parents protected me with their life. I was the only survivor. I came to Japan to live with my grandfather on my father's side, but my grandfather doesn't speak any Swedish. <laughs> hey, hey, I get it. It's okay. You don't have to talk about it. I understand. So that's why she had to move to Japan. I feel so bad for her. Anyways... I'll teach you Japanese, Miss Kujoin. Really? Of course. I got your back. Thank you, Kazuki. So, uh... When should we have your lessons? Now! Right now! Let's go to my place now! Or we can go to your place! Huh? We'll be going to each other's houses? Yep. We'll need all the time we can get. And I want to focus on studying! She was very excited, so I decided to invite her over to my place to teach her Japanese. I picked my place because I was too nervous to face her grandparents. But still, my place is... Is your family not home? Yeah, my parents are never home. They have a pretty busy work schedule. I see. My parents are very busy people. They made sure that at least one of them was at home when I was in elementary school. But now that I'm in middle school, they're both working full time. Well, I know exactly how you feel. Huh? You'll be teaching me Japanese, so I will stay by your side. You won't have to feel lonely anymore. Oh, does she think I'm lonely because my parents aren't home? I will do my best to cook you good food. Do you cook regularly? I never cooked, but it'll be okay. Really? But you just said you never cooked! If I believe I can do it, I will succeed! That's a pretty scary belief to follow. I can make the food, so don't worry about it. Anyways, let's get started with our lesson. I wanted to try cooking. Wow, I thought she was shy, but she's actually the opposite. Um, well, once you learn basic Japanese, you can try cooking then. Oh, really? Having something to look forward to will help you with motivation. That's what my parents bribed me into learning. Okay, 
I'm gonna do my best to learn as fast as possible. Great. Then let's get started, Miss Kujoin. Why are you calling me Miss Kujoin? Huh? We're friends now. You can call me Luna. Oh, okay. All right. Well then, Luna, shall we? <laughs> Kazuki, you're the best! <clears throat> what the heck? Can she be any cuter? Kazuki? No, my bad. Anyways, how about I start by translating Swedish expressions into Japanese? Okay. We spent the next few hours together, teaching her the basics of Japanese. She was very diligent, and I could see how hard she was trying to learn fast. Seeing her motivated me to do my best to teach her. However... Ah, uh, I've heard about Japanese being the hardest language on Earth, but I didn't think it would be this hard! After three hours of Japanese lessons, Luna had reached her limit. We haven't even gotten into the difficult stuff, Luna. Seriously? When people say Japanese is difficult, it's because of all the kanji and having to remember several meanings for the same word. Stuff like that. We're still learning basic Japanese words, so we haven't reached the difficult stuff. I have found a new respect for the Japanese people. I can't do this. <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel better, most of the Japanese population hasn't mastered the language either. Most of us just learn the stuff we use at school and work. Kazuki, you're amazing! Huh? How? You are so reliable! It's like I'm talking to an adult! Oh no, that's because you haven't seen much of me. Really? But the way you teach and how kind you are, you should give yourself more credit. Oh... Really? Yep. You have no idea how lucky I feel to have met you. So this is how foreign people communicate. She's got mad skills. Anyways, I didn't do so well with learning Japanese today. Am I not allowed to cook? Oh, it's okay. You can try since you worked so hard today. Really? Yep. But don't you have dinner waiting for you at home with your grandparents? Yep, I'm just going to make your meal. Okay, thank you. I'll make your meals every day. It won't be long till I get better. Okay, what? Every day? Yep, I'll come over every day to study Japanese. Are you sure you'll be allowed to do that? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm doing it to get better at Japanese. Hmm, wouldn't her grandparents get worried that she's coming over to a guy's house every day? Anyways, let's go grocery shopping. Whoa, wait! Come on, hurry! I want to cook! Luna frolicked around like a little child as she pulled my hand and dragged me to the closest supermarket. Once we got home, we started getting the ingredients ready. So first we need to cut the ingredients. You should make a little fist, like a cat's paw. A cat's paw? Meow? <gasps> she needs to stop being so cute! Is she doing it on purpose? Hey, let's get into serious mode, okay? Of course, but I'm already being serious. Oh, okay. Well then, just use this hand to hold down the ingredients. I taught her step by step, standing right by her side. Luna listened carefully, and she did everything I told her to do. She was a fast learner, and she did it surprisingly well. Is it yummy? Um, yes. It's very good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Can I try some of it too? Of course you can. Okay, feed me. Huh? I don't have chopsticks, so feed me. Uh... Wow. Seriously? Are you sure? Is there a problem? Uh... Well... Is this normal for Swedish people? Or is it just that Luna is overly friendly? Hey, hurry up! It's gonna get cold! Oh, sorry. Okay, well, here you go. Yay! Mmm! Hmm. Wow, it's so good! I'm glad you think so. Yeah, I can't believe I made this! Kazuki, you're amazing! You know, I want you to teach me Japanese, but I also want you as my cooking teacher. Wait. This is just a reward for working hard. Fine. If I work hard on Japanese, will you teach me? That wouldn't be a problem, right? Well, 
I guess. <laughs> I look forward to spending time with you. Uh... Kazuki? Oh, me too. I'll never tell her that her smile captured my heart at that moment. I'm in trouble. I've only been with her for a few hours, and I've already fallen for her. After that, we kept our distance at school, on purpose. We knew things would get hectic if we talked to each other. If people found out that I could talk to Luna, they'll probably use me as a translator to communicate with her. Luna was cooperative. She made sure not to talk to me in the classroom. I knew she wanted to get to know her classmates, so I felt bad. But she told me it gave her more motivation to study harder. I have to say, she's sweet and very caring. Since we couldn't talk at school, conversations flowed once we started our Japanese lessons. Luna talked about how she loves cats. She got so excited when we found one outside. Watching her so full of energy made me feel warm inside. And after a month of lessons, great work! You've learned enough Japanese to have conversations with people now. Luna studied hard and gave her best every day for a month. Her learning environment helped her out since she would get to practice her Japanese once she got home to her grandparents. However, I'm sure it was her hard work that pushed her Japanese skills to grow this far. FYI, her cooking skills are still in need of practice. Thank you, Kazuki. Luna thanked me in Japanese. On purpose. She probably wanted to show me she'll be talking in Japanese from now on. I can't believe how fast you learned everything. I bet everyone is going to be surprised tomorrow. Yeah, but you know, what if I can't talk properly? That's okay. I'll be there to help you out. Now that she knows the basics, being her translator won't cause too much trouble for me. That's why I told her I would help her, just in case she needed assistance. I appreciate it, Kazuki. I am so lucky to have met you. You are the best! Uh... I'm glad. I enjoyed spending the past month with Luna. There was never a dull moment. However, now that she can talk to the others, I'm sure our time together will end. Okay, you got this. Go make some new friends. Uh, but, but to be honest, I'm actually a shy person. Huh? Really? Oh, I remember. She was fidgeting when she first came into the classroom and introduced herself. Yeah, so would it be too much trouble for you to stay by my side while I talk to them? Well, I... You may have noticed this at school, but I don't talk to anybody. I think it might be better for you to talk to them on your own rather than having me next to you. I don't want to. Huh? I just need you, Kazuki. I don't need anybody else. But you went through all the trouble of learning Japanese to make friends. Yeah, but if I'm going to have to let you go, then I don't need any friends. If you don't want me to be with everyone else, I don't either. I want to stay with you. Hey, don't say that. Jeez, I know she wants more friends. That's why she studied so hard. I don't want to be the one to pull her away from that. Okay, I'll help you talk to them. I'll be there with you. Really? Yep. You worked so hard for this. I don't want to ruin it for you. The last thing I wanted was to make her feel sad because of me. It was time to step out of my comfort zone. She needed me. I had to man up and face my fears, not run from them. What would I do without you? Whoa! Luna! You have no idea how much you mean to me. You are such an amazing guy. Huh? Wait. Um... I want us to be more than just friends. That was sudden. I've been thinking about when I should ask you. The time we spent together, it made me realize you were the one that I want to spend my life with. Uh, I didn't expect that. What about you? Do you have feelings for me? Uh, of course I do. I've liked you since the first day you came over to my place. So, that means you've had your eyes on me from the start? Huh? No, it's not like I was aiming for you or anything. I just care for you. Really? Maybe you were just nice to me because you wanted me to like you. No, it wasn't like that. I swear. Hmm... You gotta believe me. <laughs> hey, you're teasing me. <laughs> I love teasing you. You give the best reactions. As it turns out, 
Luna is a mischievous little devil. A cute devil. But I was glad to get to know that side of her. Wait, is this all a joke to you? N no way! My feelings are real! Oh, okay. Thank God. So, since we know we have feelings for each other, will we be dating from now on? I... think so. Will you be my girlfriend, Luna? Um, yes! I would love to be your girlfriend, Kazuki! And so, I ended up with the cutest girlfriend ever. The next day, everybody was surprised to see Luna suddenly talking in Japanese. She instantly became popular. I have to admit, I loved the looks on the guys' faces when Luna hid behind my back. One of them was so jealous he blurted out an insult towards me. Luna happened to hear what he said, and she was furious. She's usually friendly and kind, but it appears she's never afraid to protect those she loves. I did my best to stop the commotion and calm her down, but the whole thing somehow made me feel so fulfilled. It was no surprise that by a week later, Luna had become the most popular girl in school. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.